One of the common disease issues we see in our squash plants is powdery mildew. And that's represented by this white powder that we're seeing on the leaves here. Once the disease has reached the point where it's starting to kill the leaves, it's really too late to treat for it. Any kind of treatment, such as with a fungicide like a copper sulfate or something like that, would really need to take place upon initial infection. It's not going to cure any infection that you're already seeing. It's only there to prevent any further infection or spread of that disease to other parts of the plant. At this point, is it just better to pull the plant? Now, some things to think about is, are you done harvesting squash for the year? Are you seeing other damage to the plant, maybe from grasshoppers or insect feeding, frost damage? If you're starting to see some of those things, it might just be time to pull the plant. By pulling the plant at this stage, we're also minimizing the spread of that powdery mildew to other plants in the garden. We also want to make sure and dispose of these infected leaves and plant materials so that we aren't leaving them in the garden to further infect the garden again next year. Some other things to think about to minimize the spread of powdery mildew in your garden is to use a drip irrigation system versus a sprinkler that is continually wetting the leaves of the plants. So keep some of these tips in mind the next time that you see powdery mildew creeping into your garden or into your landscape plants. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension and you're watching from the ground up.